As we've already seen in the earlier examples that we can use some techniques to solve uh, limits of indeterminate forms or difficult functions. So for this particular example, we're going to see how we can use one of those techniques uh, to solve a limit that has an indeterminate form. So as, we, as I've already mentioned earlier that the four techniques that we can use are um, algebraic manipulation or factoring, the squeeze theorem, the orbitals rule, and the change of variable technique. So for this particular example, I'm going to use the technique of algebraic manipulation or factoring to solve a limit of an indeterminate form. So let's consider this function here where we have f of x equal to x squared plus x minus 6 divided by x minus 2. And we're asked to find the limit where x tends to 2 of this function here, f of x. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to find and analyze the behavior of this function at the given limit. So at x equals to 2, what we have is 2 squared plus 2 minus 6. In the numerator, this divided by 2 minus 2. So you can see that we have 0 in the numerator and also a 0 in the denominator. And this gives us an indeterminate form of the form 0 by 0. So now we're going to uh, manipulate this function algebraically and see how we can avoid this indeterminate form. So I'm going to write the function again here for reference. So we have x squared plus x minus 6 divided by x minus 2. So you can see that the numerator can be manipulated algebraic, as in it can be broken down using simple middle term break. So what we will get is x minus 2 multiplied by x plus 3. This will be divided by x minus 2. So now we can just go ahead and cancel these two out. So what we will be left with is x plus 3. So now, as per asked by the question, we have to find the limit at x tends to 2 of the given function here, which is now x plus 3 after manipulating. So now simply we can just impose the limit and we have 2 plus 3 which equals to 5. So you see how simply we uh, use the technique of algebraic manipulation to avoid the indeterminate form that we received earlier.